You've wasted all your money on a virtual reality headset, and now you need to justify that money spent by recording some gameplay footage. The only problem is you don't know how to do it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use OBS, which is completely free software, to record VR footage. And not only that, I'm going to show you how to set it up in a way that will get good quality, crisp, enjoyable to watch video that you can then upload to YouTube, or I don't know, you could just email the video footage to your mom. Firstly, one will want to head over to obsproject.com. On the left hand side of the website you'll see there's Get OBS Studio. You want the studio version, not the classic version. The studio version works for Windows, 7, 8, 10 or Mac and Linux. But uh, we're going to be using the Windows version. So download that and install it and we'll move on to the next step. Once installed, you're going to want to create a new profile. Do that by clicking on profile and then new and call it uh, VR Happy Times. Now the profile is what's going to save all your video settings. So we're now going to set the video settings in that profile by going to settings and we're going to go to output and we want to set the video bitrate to something nice and sexy. But this is for recording, not streaming. So we need to make sure that it's on advanced and we've got recording here and we're going to select this to mp4 we're going to set the recording path to whatever you want in this case we'll just put it on the desktop why not you probably want it on a uh, large hard drive because these files are going to end up quite big we've got video recording format mp4 audio track one there's a whole lot of stuff you can do with audio tracks but we're just going to keep things simple encoder x264 which you'll use your processor or you can use nvnc which will use your NVIDIA graphics card. In this case, we're going to use the processor. It's up to you. If you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use that. We don't want to rescale the output because we're going to record at 1920 by 1080. We've got the bitrate control here. And what we want to do is make sure this is on constant bitrate. That's what CBR stands for. And the bitrate for a recording to your own computer uh, anything around 15 to 25,000 bits per second is good. So we're going to go for 18,000 and uh, that will come out pretty decent. Keyframe interval, zero, that's fine. Normally uh, if you're streaming you might use two, you might use four depending on the video platform but as we say this is recording so two is perfectly fine. CPU usage, just keep it on very fast. It depends on the speed of your computer as to what you're going to use uh, and, and how, what mileage you'll get from it. Uh, profile tune, that doesn't matter. All these other things don't matter at all. All good. So now that will save video files in MP4 format using the X264 encoder of the processor to the, uh, to the desktop at a bit rate of 18,000 bits per second or sort of 18 megabits. Uh, probably got that wrong. Uh, these audio tracks doesn't really matter. The defaults are fine. Uh, audio track one is being used in this case because we've got audio track one ticked here. So that's that for the recording. Just click apply. In my haste, I forgot the other tabs and uh, thought I would tell you about them just in case you were having a panic attack. Now, in general, you don't need to change anything on there. The setting options for OBS, uh, the, the UI and other things, they don't matter. You can fiddle with them later on. Stream doesn't matter because, uh, well, we're not streaming, we're recording. But if you are streaming, you'll go into that tab. Output, we were just on. Audio, we were just on. And we'll go over in more detail later. Video is the tab that you also want to check that I completely forgot about. Now, realistically, if you've got a faster computer or you're using the NVEC, the NVIDIA video recording option we talked about, you'll probably want to put it on 60 FPS. You'll also want to make sure that the base canvas is 1920 by 1080. You won't want it to be scaled. Now, you can scale it by choosing the different options here. And this will scale the resolution down, which is particularly useful if you're streaming because most people don't want to stream at 1080p, 60 FPS. But if you're recording, you don't want to scale it. You just want to keep it at the full 1920 by 1080. So it's not scale, but that is the output. This is the base resolution here for the canvas, the actual um, the, the scene recording in OBS. And this is what's going to be actually outputted into the video file so you want to make sure they're both the same at uh, 1920 by 1080p for recording this downscale filter 
will uh, affect the quality of the output if the output is different from the base canvas. In this case, it isn't, so it doesn't matter. Either way, bicubic is, is fine. Uh, if you were doing streaming or if you're recording, it doesn't matter because we're not using it. And finally, the FPS. We're going to set it to 60. If your computer's running too slow, uh, you can set it to 30. I wouldn't go below 30 unless you're making videos for console gamers because they won't be able to perceive anything faster than 15 FPS. So you could do that if you want to do that. But for us, 60 FPS. So that's the video settings there. When you do change stuff, make sure you click apply to make sure that they're actually applied. You've got hotkeys here which allow you to do scene selection and magical scene switching, especially whilst you're live streaming. You don't need to do any of that whilst you're recording. The advanced tab, again, you don't need to change any of this when you first get OBS and if you're just doing recording, but you can go to town with this in the future if you wanted to, if you, if you really wanted to get into OBS. But let's rejoin back onto where we were. And now we go over to the scene selection and we're gonna create a new scene called VR Happy Scene. Spelt wrong, but it doesn't matter. VR Happy Scene. And the scenes are basically your inputs and your sources and how things are arranged on the screen. So once you've created that scene from the scenes, uh, scene selection menu, you just right click on the sources and you click add and we want to add a game capture and we'll call it VR Capture. Click OK and that's added a VR Capture window. We're going to come back to this in a minute, but that's there in the scenes. Um, and that's all you need to do for the, for the sources. But you might notice there's nothing there to capture at this point in time. That's because we don't have any uh, VR sources running. So we need to open a VR game and we're going to do that right away. Now with an Oculus Rift game, you'll notice that when you launch Oculus Rift games, you get a window on the screen, which you should be able to click on here and click window and capture the, the game that you're running from this list of uh, applications. But in this case, we're going to be using a Steam VR window capture because it's more complicated and uh, why not? So Steam VR and we're going to go display mirror and that's now mirroring the display of the uh, VR headset. Now what you want to do is make sure that it's the right eye only if you're playing a shooter game because that way the capture will be uh, from looking down the gun if you tend to look through your right eye, unless you're left-handed and you look down the left eye. Um, and that will give you one single output from the game. Now, what I found to be really handy and to make sure this window is always the same scale is I make it full screen on my second monitor. Or it doesn't really matter as long as it's on the screen, on a monitor, I make it full screen. And then in OBS, I select the window in the I double click on the VR capture for the sources and I select the headset mirror window and you'll see it's now put that in the scene now because the headset mirror window is full screened its scale is aligned to my monitor scale so it's, got, it's scaled to 1080p and you know it's got these black bars at the side if you move it around and rescale it you'll notice it also affects it in the uh, OBS capture which will make it a pain in the arse <clears throat> which will make it a pain in the ass when it comes to lining things up. So make sure it's full screened, then make sure you've got OBS in the foreground so you can see it. And now you can line this window up in a way that you remove the black bars. Now it's always going to result in some form of cropping because the aspect ratio of VR is different to a uh, 16 by 9 screen. And so you're going to have to crop it somewhere. And I find the best way to do this, or the, the, the best compromise after a couple of years of doing VR video recording, is to zoom it in, make sure it's round about in the middle, slightly lower <laughs> than the middle. This represents the middle of the, uh, the, the screen there, you see. And then drag it across so that it's on the monitor there. And you'll notice if we uh, lift the VR headset up, There we go, put that on the steering wheel. We now have the VR view in OBS, nicely mirrored. In the background you can see our Steam window, our headset mirror, and in OBS you can see our VR capture. Now before we record, before we record, 
stay on the screen please. Before we record we need to make sure that the mixer is active and we need to set some audio here. So we're going to go to file, settings, audio and we want to make sure there's a channel there and we're going to go for headphones, default audio Headphones, high definition audio device. Now you can also go for default, or if you're using the Oculus Rift and you've got the Oculus Rift enabled in Windows, you'll see that as an option. Basically, whatever you want to capture the sound from, you select it from this list of audio devices. And when you do so, you'll see that it appears down the bottom. Now that's got the audio from the game coming through. If you also want to capture your microphone, you need to go back into the settings, back into audio, and you'll see we've got mic and auxiliary audio devices here. And we can then add the microphone. In this case, we've got the blue snowball that we're also using. Well, at the moment, we're recording in Audacity. But now you can see it's picking up the, the microphone here. So you can uh, record your audio over the top of the game, your mic over the top of the game volume. And you can use these sliders to adjust the volume of each of the uh, the audio inputs or the audio outputs. If you're recording uh, gameplay, you'll want your mic louder than the game. You probably want the game around about minus 16 decibels and the microphone audio at full. And that will give you reasonably good audio where uh, you know, people will be able to hear your voice over the top of the game. So we're essentially all set up there. That's capturing the game, the game view in OBS as a single window. And you can click start recording and that will actually start recording. It will save the file out to the file that you've set in your output under the recording tab. It will save it to, de to the desktop in my case and uh, you're good to go. Now if you want to add extra sources, so for example a webcam, you just right click on sources, click add and you go to um, video capture device and from that a list of your webcams will appear. In our case our webcam is on the floor, but you click OK and you can then drag your webcam about and put it on the screen wherever you want. But that pretty much covers a basic introduction to getting VR recordings done using OBS. Turn the VR, oh, turn the video capture off here. The main thing is just getting your headset mirror full screened on the monitor, making sure it's actually on your monitor and not minimized. If it's minimized, it won't capture it. And once you've done that, just scaling it in OBS and dragging it into the right place. That will get you pretty good quality VR recordings. So I hope this video has been useful. We'll do a follow up with more details and more information very soon indeed. But until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like or dislike depending on how you feel. I will see you in our next video. Goodbye. Years of planning, peak physical condition, and the luck that you don't suffer from a pulmonary embolism at base camp. These are all